stories. I just wanted to tell people a little bit about the divining tools used by the readers. The divining tools such as cards, or uh, they might use numerology or astrology. An astrologer takes your birth date, looks up your astrological chart, checks where the planets are, and works through those planets to see where you are positioned in time at this point in time. Mm. A numerologist calculates your numbers and figures out from that numerology what's going on in your life. A clairvoyant has a capacity to see things in their mind of the past, present and future. A clairaudient hears them and a clairsentient both feels, sees and hears the messages. Mm. A palmist reads information from your palm. Yeah. You know, and a medium uh, is all about communicating with people who have passed over. There was a guy I met, he came to me for readings on a regular basis. One day, he brought me a test tube filled with his pee. In the pee was a picture. No. Yes. Of his face. No. Yes. That's how in the pee? Who knows? <laughs> oh to this God. day, I can't figure out how that oh is done. My God. By picture, I mean a vision of his pee. No. Oh, yeah. Um, these are the sort of things that I cannot answer why or where. The, you know, the spirit world uses a different energy to create messages. I think that spirit had a sense of humor. <laughs> well, I have no clue. But, you know, when you allow for the fact that the body's made up of billions of cells, and that every cell has your DNA in it, and every cell is part of your body, uh, even your pee could have cells that have your DNA. Who's that, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, please go ahead. <laughs> this is Claire Coven. Now, she's here to have a live reading. Um, thank you very much for doing that, Claire. Um, exciting news that okay, you were no, telling us The first about. thing I want to tell you is, mm -hmm. before I go on to anything about numerology, astrology, or anything else, as I'm looking at you, I'm, uh, I've even been on TV on other channels to discuss my theories on noses. Right. Okay, now, there are specific noses that you can be born with that seem to guarantee success. Other noses have a slightly harder uh, time of it. For example, I have a good nose, but not a great nose. But you have a great nose. Why? Your nose, the shape of it and the outline of it, guarantees success in your chosen field. You'll see that nose on Michael Caine, Sean Connery, the President of the United States, Colin Farrell, Clint Eastwood. There's just a few for you. How exciting. And you have that nose. When I look at that nose, though, it's interesting because it's not the sort of nose you'd ordinarily see on a water sign. Now, uh, when I looked at you before, I got the element of water. Subsequently, I've actually seen some paperwork which has told me your birthday, but I actually knew it in your case that you were a water sign. Okay. And then I felt that you would have an Earth Moon, which you do. Your Moon is positioned in Capricorn, and you're born under the sign of Pisces on yeah. March the 2nd. Yes, right. just. In 1981. Yes. Okay, now, and then next year is the big win. Mm -hmm. Now, your partner, Eamon. Yes. When is that person's birthday? It is August the 11th. And she's 27, so she would be... 1969. 79. 79. 79. 79. She's, 79, she's yeah. 79 would make her a goat, and you were a, a rooster. That's right. But let's just have a look at it. August is Leo. Leo and Pisces are very attracted. Mm -hmm. So, But there's also complications with Leo and Pisces. So right. I would say you'll have some success together, but you may not stay together forever. Oh. Because Pisces and Leo tend to get together for a while, and then they fall out. But it could be five years, ten years. It's not two minutes. Okay. So it's, it's not a negative necessarily. But let me just see what she's doing. What's with her? She's a bit lost at the moment, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think you have to guide her right now. Which is, mm. I mean, she's searching for her true identity at the moment. And that's a complication. Because, you know, there you are laying the foundations and you're rock solid. And she isn't. She's redefining every aspect of her life. So there are some energies there that don't work. However, it's not a bad team. No. And she does have good luck on her side. Mm-hmm.